So the greatest thing about heaven is we get to see God. We will be with God. We'll be able to commune with God. John tells us through the letters that Jesus writes, there'll be a time when God's going to invite you to a dinner. And Jesus is going to talk about you to God the Father. And angels will be in the room. And they're going to say, hey, Jesus is going to say, let me tell you about Chris. Let me tell you how his life changed, how he started investing in other men, how he started mentoring guys, how he actually took some of his resources and invests and gives them material so that they can get to know him better. And there's going to be a celebration about that. And all the things that we do, things like that here, are going to make a difference there. They're going to be celebrated. They're going to be remembered. And whatever it is that we're going to be doing, you're going to be in your sweet spot. It is going to be such tremendous. And, and the purpose of all this is to bring glory to God, to exalt him, to bring back everything to the way that God had it planned. God's win, God has the plan, and he invites us to be part of it. So, wow, right? This is really real stuff, and it's free. <laughs> it's absolutely free. It's just an acceptance. So, how should we then live? Knowing this, how should we then live? I suggest you start with this. If you haven't yet done this, start with this. Spend time with God now. <laughs> Spend quality time with God now. Get quiet. This is just you and him. That's the way to become a godly man. That's the way for this stuff to become real. Pick your spot. Meet with him. Look at it. I had a guy come on my house this week. He's doing a power washing. We talked for four hours. And he, in the end, he said, how do you know this stuff? I pointed at the bench. <laughs> And I said, right there, that's where I read, that's where I talk, that's where I commune, that's where it becomes real. Pick a spot like that, guys. I mean, it'll change your life. We can't, we move so quick, there's so much to do. We have to slow down and let it become real and then reflect this stuff to other people. We're called to be light, we're called to be salt. This is a dark place, but it's gonna change. All that's gonna be burned away and we get to be a part of that. Bring some people along with you and watch the celebration that happens when that takes place.